Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the Yard OLED and this is the Grand Victorian. We have a Yard OLED and this is the Grand in the Barley or Barley Corn. We have a Visconti and this is the Blue Ripple. We have a Ryan Crusack Legend 16 in the Dragon Slayer. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. We have a Visconti, and this is a Chatterley Luxuries exclusive, and this is the Southwest. We have a Molteni Modelo 55S in the uh, Royal Blue Luchens. We have a Gravitas Sentry, and this is in the Skittles. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize. This is in the Gold Rush Prospector. And then we have a Estabrook SD Oversize, and this is in the Rocky Top. So I think let's go through these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is uh, a pen that I added to my collection uh, a short while ago. And this is a pen that I had inked up last week as well. This is the Yardo Lead. And this is the Grand Victorian. This is made of solid silver. So AG925 uh, has a beautiful uh, complexion there on the pen. Now, these, uh, all of this pattern is hammered by a metal smith with over 3,000 strikes to the pen. So this is a lot of effort to go in to making this pen, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. I've always wanted a Yardo Lead, a Grand Victorian, and I'm very glad that I was able to add this to my collection uh, when I saw this on sale. Now, uh, this is a solid silver pen. Uh, it's a push-click cap here, and it has a 18 karat gold fine Yardo Lead nib there. It is a cartridge converter. Can I post the cap? I can, but it does make it back weighted. The whole weight of this pen is uh, around 61 or 63 grams in weight. Uh, so the body itself is about 40 grams in weight. So you probably don't want to post that cap. But if you are a cap poster, then by all means do post it. But I'm just saying that it, it really doesn't need to be posted. The next pen I have here, I picked up at the same time and was inked up last week as well is the Yard Led Grand, and this is in the barley or barley corn. Uh, it does kind of look like a little bit of a, a corn cob uh, in complexion. Uh, beautiful pen, again, AG925, solid silver. Uh, again, a weighty pen, around 60-ish grams in weight. Uh, it does have a push-to-click uh, mechanism there, and uh, has a... Uh, 18 karat gold. This is a medium Yardo lead nib there. Uh, again, both of these uh, are cartridge converter pens. Uh, I do like this a lot. You can post the cap, but again, it does feel a bit back weighted. The cap isn't anywhere near as weighty as the body. Uh, I think the total weight is around 60 odd grams in weight. Uh, the weight of the pen is about 40, so the cap is going to be about 20 ish. So maybe a little bit less, but uh, it's still uh, a fairly weighty pen. So you don't really need to, if you like a weighty pen, that's fine. But you probably don't need to uh, post that cap unless you really feel that you have to post a cap. The next pen inked up this week is a Visconti and it is a Blue Ripple. Beautiful pen. I was glad to add to my collection uh, I already had the watermark, which came out, I think, a couple of years later. And you'll see here, it just says Ripple on that pen uh, with the limited edition number. And a friend of mine, uh, Tony, had, had bought one of these. And he was, like, constantly nagging at me, saying, you've got to get one. You've got to get one. You've got to get one. So, eventually, I did cave and I bought one. And I have to say... Uh, he was right. It, it's a beautiful pen. It's got this lovely sort of 
rounded chevron overlay, uh, which is silver and it's plated or vermilled uh, with this lovely blue gloss sort of paint effect. The inside is a sort of a white snow cap sort of cracked ice. Beautiful pen, very weighty. Uh, the cap is very weighty. Uh, and it also comes with uh, the uh, older 18 cat gold nib from Visconti. I got this in a medium nib. Uh, it's a Paravac. It's a double reservoir as well. Uh, this is a really lovely pen. So uh, I do like that. The, the double reservoir holds around two and a half millilitres of ink. A single reservoir Paravac holds around one and a half millilitres of link. A piston holds around 1 to 1 1.2, sometimes 1.3 millimetres of ink. And then the cartridge converters will hold around 0 0.7 millilitres of ink. The next pen inked up is this one. And uh, this uh, was uh, a pen that I bought for my birthday. And uh, that was this year in 2022. And this is the Ryan Crusack Legend 16. And it's a Dragon Slayer. So you have the dragon there on the body and it's trying to torch the dragon slayer uh, and a beautiful pen. It's made of antler and also made of wood and you've got the dragon scales there on that wood. Beautiful pen. Uh, I, as I understand it, Ryan Crusack actually designs and draws this himself and then he puts it into his computer program and then laser etches this onto a, any material and i do like the antler i think that really makes it look good um so so that's that's great there and it has a medium uh still nib on that pen but it really writes nicely so uh, i'm glad that i uh managed to pick that one up when i did from ryan crusack the next pen here is a visconti homo sapiens london fog beautiful material it's a, a demonstrator with celluloid shavings which create this lovely swirl pattern in the body there always reminds me of the old style um marbles glass marbles that you used to get or at least when i was a kid you used to get them and they used to have these lovely it's very similar i wonder if it was celluloid back then quite possibly because it had some very nice chatoyance and and just looks the piece and i wonder if that's what the marbles actually had i'll have to uh, look that up and see what i can find out it's called the london fog because london has a lot of fog so does the uk and it's got a lot of gray here as well there's some blue in the cap and the power vac filling knob and also the section as well uh, this has a 23 cap palladium fine nib it's got a hook safe lock power vac double reservoir filler so it holds two and a half milliliters of ink and i really love how this one writes the next pen inked up is this one it's a chatterley luxuries exclusive this is a visconti southwest and this is made out of the same material as the visconti speakeasy the visconti saint basil uh, this is a celluloid material beautiful uh, mix of reds blues and blacks brilliant celluloid i really do like this it is a faceted pen as well and i believe these are now long sold out there were only 28 of these made in each trim color now this one came i think a rose gold uh, i think there was a black as well ruthenium um colored uh, trim uh, this comes with a new 18 count gold in-house nib from visconti it's a medium nib Again, power vac filler, it's a single reservoir, no ink window, uh, but it does have the hook safe lock mechanism on there, and it is a faceted pen. So uh, what's not to like on that? The next pen inked up this week is a pen that I've not inked up for a while now, and uh, it's a pen that I really do like uh, the the um, writing experience on. It's a Molteni. Uh, it's a Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Lutrans. Now, this is made uh, effectively out of Omar's uh, celluloid. So this is the Royal Blue celluloid. And then this is the Blue Luchens celluloid. So uh, this is a beautiful pen. 
Uh, it does come with an 18 karat gold medium nib there uh, with an ebonite feed as well. Uh, I do like this a lot. Can I post the cap? Yeah, I can, and it posts quite deeply and securely. Uh, I don't need to, but you can post it if you want to. Uh, these are nice sort of torpedo cigar shape pens, and uh, I decided I would uh, ink that one up again because I've not inked it up in, in quite some time. The next pen here is a pen from Ben Walsh in Ireland. And uh, he goes under the name of Gravitas Pens. Uh, and this is the Gravitas logo there. Uh, and this is a beautiful pen. It's the Sentry. So it's a larger of a number of different models. Uh, he has the Entry, which is the, the smaller version as well. Uh, this is in the Skittles, which is basically flame-torched and uh, beautiful, beautiful material. Uh, this is lighter than the brass version. I believe this is still, I think I've, I've mentioned before that I thought it was aluminium. You can't flame torch aluminium. So I think this is steel or some kind of steel. Uh, this, this comes with a lovely ribbed section. It's hard to see there on camera, but you might see that as I move it. It's got very fine ribs to it. Uh, it also comes with a uh, steel 1.1 millimeter stub nib. Uh, it doesn't have any tip and it's a Yovo nib. Uh, can I post the cap? Yeah, and I post it and it posts really deeply. Kind of reminds me a little bit like that as a like a Caveco Sport or Caveco Brass pen because it does post very deeply. Uh, I, again, I wouldn't want to mar the finish or scratch it in any way, uh, put micro scratches on there. So again, it, I don't post my caps but I know a number of people that do. The next pen here inked up is this one, and this is an Estabrook SD Oversize, and this is in the Gold Rush, and it's a Prospector. Glad that I was able to still pick this one up. I really missed the boat on this one, and there's been a number of pens I've missed the boat on recently, some inks as well, and I was just glad that I was able to pick this one up when I did. I picked it up from a US seller on eBay, no idea who he was, um, but he does sell pens or uh, has a small shop, I believe, uh, and uh, had it shipped to the UK. And the pictures on eBay really were not that good. Like a lot of pen sellers, they don't actually put like studio lights on. They don't really uh, sort of show off all the colors or the sparkle of the pen. So I was kind of expecting a really horrible pattern when it arrived, but I'm so glad that this is a beautiful, beautiful pattern there. So lots of sparkle. It does have the um, golden uh, or diamond dust. I should say not golden. Uh, it's a golden color. But the, the diamond cast uh, Mackenzie Penworks material with real diamond dust in it as well. Uh, it has a clutch screw on mechanism, metal threads. has an Estabrook SD nib and that's a fine nib. Uh, can I post these caps? They're not really designed to do so. And the reason why is, look, you can see that how, how much it wobbles. Uh, they're really not designed to be posted. Uh, they are long enough. Certainly the oversized versions are. So it wouldn't be something that I would worry too much about unless you have to post your caps, in which case, yeah, be worried because you're probably not going to be able to post that cap very well. And then the last pen again is another Estabrook SD oversized. Uh, and this is in the rocky top. Again, another Mackenzie Penworks diamond cast material. So it has real diamond dust in that resin there. I really do like the diamond dust. It, it's subtle. It's not uh, sort of in your face glitter, but it's enough to give you a little bit of sparkle there. Uh, and again, this has uh, the metal threads, uh, has a clutch mechanism an Estabrook uh, SD uh, nib there. It's a number six size, still Yovo nib. Uh, this one's a board. Both this one and this, uh, all the Estabrook SDs are uh, cartridge converters. So it'll hold around 0.7 milliliters of ink. And again, like that cap just does not post that, that securely. So again, I wouldn't want to do that. Now, the clutch mechanism I mentioned is here. If I just screw the, the, the body in, it will not screw in. You have to push it in and twist for it to engage and lock. 
that mechanism just stops the nib and nib unit from drying out too much. So uh, it's a, a nice little feature there that uh, Estabrook actually have on their pens. So I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is the Yarder Lead Grand Victorian. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a fine nib, but it is quite a wet writing nib. Uh, I do like this. Does have a slight singing sort of miss to the nib. Uh, a little bit of uh, pencil feedback. <laughs> yard of lead pencil, <laughs> maybe. Uh, that most yard of leads I find are normally fairly smooth that I've tried. So this is a yard o lead. And this is a grand. And it is the Victorian. I may actually smooth this nib out a little bit more. It doesn't have the same feedback on Tomoe River paper. Uh, I, I have actually smoothed the nib out a little bit already, but I may actually smooth it more. Maybe get some mylar. I've got some mylar paper. I might. I very rarely use mylar. I normally only go to 12,000 grit, but I might even try some mylar uh, paper. Uh, now, this is a uh, fine, and it is an 18 cap gold nib. And the ink in here is Noodlers, and it's Habanero. And I, I still like that nib a lot, but uh, uh, I didn't have the option of actually buying it with a medium nib. I only had the option of buying it with a fine nib. However, I did also get this one as well, which does have a medium nib, so I can always swap nibs if I really wanted to. So again, this is uh, the Yard of Lead, and this is a Grand, and this is a Barley or Barley Corn. So we'll do an ink swatch. And still a fairly wet writer. It's not a fire hose of a nib, but this is a dry ink as well. So this is the Yard O Lead, and it is the Grand. And it's the barley. And it is a medium 18 cap gold nib. And the ink in here is Rora and Klinger. And it is Verdura. The next pen inked up is the Visconti Blue Ripple. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I do love this nib. It writes very, very wet. So this is the Visconti Blue Ripple. And it is a medium. And double check this. This is the older 18 cat gold nib from Visconti. And then the ink in here is Diamine. And it's majestic blue, which is a very nice dark blue ink. The next pen is the Ryan Crusack Legend 16, and this is in the Dragon Slayer. So this is, we'll do an ink swatch. And I do think I will probably put a board nib on this, actually, uh, because uh, I do think that that would actually bring out this ink a lot more better in terms of shading. So this is the Ryan Crusack Legend 16 in the Dragon Slayer. And it is a medium, and it is a steel Yovo nib. And then the ink in here is Noodlers, Apache, Sunset, which is a really nice uh, orange-coloured ink. The next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. So we'll do an ink swatch.
And this is a fine nib from Visconti. Very wet writing nib. And I do like this experience of writing with a nib. So this is the Visconti Hammer Sapiens and it is London Fog. It's a fine 23 cap palladium nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku and it is Con Heki which is a very nice blue ink uh, and one I I have always used a beautiful color the next pen inked up is the Visconti and this is a Chassis Luxuries exclusive it's the Southwest so we'll do an ink swatch and again a very wet writing Visconti nib it's not a Palladium nib, it's actually the newer 18 cat gold nib from Visconti. So, this is the Visconti Chatterley Luxuries, it's an exclusive pen, uh, and it's the South West, and it's a medium, the newer 18 cat gold nib from Visconti. Uh, and then the ink in here is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. Again, a beautiful ink, beautiful red ink. Uh, I have a lot of bottles of that still, uh, but it is one that I like a lot. The next pen inked up is the Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is another wet writing nib. It's it's a pen that I do like writing with. I've just not written with it a lot lately because I've had a lot of newer pens. But this is the Molteni Modelo. I think it's double L. May just be one. Uh, Modelo 55S in the Royal blue luchens and this is a medium 18 cat gold nib and i know i get some people ask me well why am i putting a purple ink in a blue pen but i tried this and i just love it so this is kwz gummy berry And I could put a blue ink in here, but I just, I've liked this ink a lot and I just decided just to run with it uh, in that pen. The next pen is the Gravitas Sentry and this is the Skittles. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is a 1.1 millimeter stub nib. So. Uh, wider than a lot of nibs for sure. Now this one is almost out of ink as well. So this is the Gravitas Sentry in the Skittles. Am I going to get enough out without having to re-ink this for another week? Uh, this is a 1.1 millimeter stub steel nib from Yovo. And then the ink in here is uh, Herban. Oh, it's getting there. Violet Pense. Yeah, I can just about do it, but that is really on its last legs. The next pen inked up is the Estabrook SD Oversize, and this is in the Gold Rush Prospector. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a fine nib, uh, and you'll see that here. It takes a lot more to try and colour in the ink swatch here. So this is the Estabrook. 
SD. And it's the uh, oversized, but it's the Gold Rush Prospector. And it is a fine, and it is a still Yovo nib. And then the ink in here is KWZ, and it is old gold, which is a very nice gold colored ink. And then the last pen inks up this week is again, is another Estabrook SD oversize, and this is in the Rocky Top. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is a broader nib. It is actually a broad nib, uh, but I find this actually writes really nicely. So this is an Estabrook. SD and it's an oversized but it's the rocky top and it is a broad and it is a still Yovo nib and then the ink in here is diamine golden brown which is a beautiful beautiful golden brown color so I think let's go and take a look at these pens inked up one more time. So we have a Yarda Lead Ground Victorian in a fine 18 karat gold nib inked up with Noodler's Habanero. We have a Yarda Lead Grand Barley in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Aurora and Klinger Verdura. We have a Visconti Blue Ripple in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Blue. We have a Ryan Crusack Legend 16 in the Dragon Slayer in a medium steel nib inked up with Noodler's Apache Sunset. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog in a fine 23 cap Palladium nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku Compeki. We have a Visconti Chatterley Luxuries Southwest in a medium 18 cap gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Molteni Modelo 55S in the Royal Blue Luchens in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with KWZ Gummy Berry. We have a Gravitas Sentry Skittles in a 1.1 millimeter stub steel nib inked up with Herben Violet Pen C. We have an Estabrook SD Gold Rush Prospector in a fine steel nib inked up with KWZ Old Gold. And then last but not least, we have an Estabrook SD Rocky Top in a broad steel nib inked up with Diamine Golden Brown. So there you have it. That's my county ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.